Yeah, it's definitely a playground to get away for sure. If I wanted to hit some balls and have a beer and watch TV and I could do it here, it went a little past that. Hey, welcome to the crib. Just a little. It's awesome town, man. Uh, that's where I grew up. Like, I used to hit balls over that. The, those the twins, they used to walk around barefooted. I used to jump in that girl's pool. This guy hits golf balls in his front yard. Block was hot. But like, it's home, it's like, it's our people. We believe in our people. This place we're going to though, man, it changed my life, man. If you were a kid and you didn't have anything to do, this was the best deal ever. 100 bucks, Monday through Friday. So you just had a little green card. It was awesome. What are you doing? Great to see you. Same to you, as always, good seeing you. I'll be forever tied to this place and I'm pretty passionate about kids playing golf. It would have changed my life even if I wasn't on the PJ Tour, the people I've met. Harold, pleasure to meet hey. you, everything good? I am beyond spoiled, this place started it. My granddad was always out here. He would come at 7 a.m., I'd come with him, Harold would be here and we would just all play. And Back then it was like, hey man, your ass is out of trouble. You have an opportunity to meet people, and we, it was fun. But yeah, there was no way to compare it. Like, you, you didn't really know what Harold was doing until we got to middle school, right? Until you got, like, the matches and stuff. Then you started seeing him beat people, and you're like, okay, he's pretty good. This is where I learned how to gamble. <laughs> but when this play green first came out here, though, all these old men used to play for quarters, and then they kicked him out. Yeah, I wasn't a bad kid. I was just, I just lived an awesome life, and I got my ass whooped and learned from it and kept going. My job was to play with members when they didn't have a fourth. I mean, I got paid to play golf, and I used to have to carry my bag and keep with them in the carts. That's probably why I play fast. Growing up, I just really wanted to, you know, have a place where I could hit balls and just kind of screw off, and that's what we created. I come out here, I get loose, and then I go to the golf course and don't have to warm up. But looking at the data, you know, like scrolling through here, the biggest thing for me that I know I've tried to work on three putt avoidance, making it three more holes on the season, which is massive for me. Like that's a direct, like Harold's gonna improve overall. He can become the aggressor or, you know, not be able to score at all. Go, go. And I haven't seen this before, so yeah, I've been kicking ass. Yeah, I've known Harold since junior golf. Now I'm getting back into playing professionally, so you know I've been trying to find a place to get away and get my game back in shape. And HV told me he's got like a perfect land. I mean, it's better than what he described. This is a perfect setup for me to just wake up and work on my game. He's been helping me out and trying to get me ready for a Latin American tour. There's somewhere where you're not rotating. Picking his brain, picking his thoughts, and just seeing where he's come from, it's really inspirational. Sick. Yeah, I have some really wonderful people that are just putting in their time. What up? Good? Chilling. Having fun, and that's kind of what I envisioned. Like, hey, you know, whatever it is. You can do about anything down here. Beer pong balls, cups. We're prepared for a party, not for usual living. You know, you get bored, you have some leftover wood, and we built this little rack. Obviously, I built it because it's coming apart. Golf bags, I went to East Carolina, the greatest school in the world. Line loft machine that I have no clue how to use. I know how to check it, but like bending it is like dicey. It's Preston's brother. I mean, he races a car. I don't know what the hell all this means. That is more than data. Like the data that we deal with is like broken down. Obviously that's my parents. That's the greatest coach to ever come to the Panthers. Yeah, just a lot of cool stuff. I have a lot of equipment down there just where I can take care of the land obviously, but I rented a Harley rake and they tried to get the rocks out of it to see if it'll like smooth it out. I think someone might die over there now. Yeah, yeah, let's ride out there. Let's ride out. Where's the big one? It's in the shop. John Deere's pissed. For record, everybody that's ever been on this boat has came away with something broken or sliced. Don't ever get on the boat. Um, everything's got a, some kind of story behind it. A lot of toys, a lot of fun, but sometimes you actually need it. 
Not many people like to do this stuff, like how to get the ground level, how to put the seed down, get the grass growing, stuff like that. But yeah, you wouldn't guess that he would be a little country bumpkin on tractors and, and John Deere's and stuff like that, so. It was never supposed to be this either. <laughs> like it was meant for him to hit golf balls majority of the time this place is packed out when he's away playing for some reason there's always like a bonfire and just pull in eat some food have a beer and then go home maybe check and see how Harold's playing well look at this this is nuts 2018 I was like 89th and 2019 I was 28th hitting it in the fairway makes those numbers easy to get closer but I'm surprised at this last year of how bad I drove it Tom over here my dad put a pin over there and you know, if you hit at that pin and you hit the house, probably shouldn't be hitting the driver. You're definitely gonna make bogey if you hit it left or right of this pin. So looking at this data on the key ones, going for the green percentage, you can't go for it if you don't hit the fairway. But it's funny, this year, like, I've hit a few more fairways and I've made some eagles, and it's way more exciting, that's for sure. All right, so the data we use, we're gonna make a wedge range out of it. It's pretty cool. So we're just gonna have concrete slabs starting at that 50. It'll be real small, but you want to aim for something really high and see where it sticks. It's not so much about beating balls or worrying about where the ball's going. It's about just like, hey man, I tried to accomplish this. I never thought the place like this would turn into something where like I could actually come practice. It's a great place to get better. Full-time golfer, part-time maintenance. maintenance. <laughs>